Our study of algebra will yield many powerful tools, such as variables and equations, enabling us to solve a wide range of problems. But as we use these tools, it is important not to forget what the algebraic expression represents. We do not want to fall into the all-too-common trap of blindly manipulating the symbols on the page, ignoring the concepts that give them meaning. To help us do that, we're going to use algebra tiles. There are several different companies that make manipulatives for algebra. And while the colors for the positive values vary, all the sets use red for the negative values. Let's start by looking at the expression 3x squared plus 4x plus 10. How can we visualize this? What is x squared? There's no single answer, of course, but we can think of x squared as the area of a square with a side of length x. Don't worry for now about the specific size of the square. If we picked a value for x, then we can draw the shape exactly that large. But until then, we will just pretend that the side length is whatever x is. Since we are just using this to help us visualize what's going on, all that matters is that we are consistent. You may want to think about the square growing and shrinking as we make x bigger or smaller, and about the relationship between how large x is and how much area the square will have. Our expression didn't have just one x squared, it had three x squared. To represent this term, we want to have three times as much area. So let's have three of these squares. All right, now we're getting somewhere. What about 4x? Can we interpret this as area as well? The easiest shape that has the area of x is a 1 by x rectangle like this. So 4x would look like this. After that, we have 10 units. From here, the pattern is pretty clear. To interpret 10 as an area, we just want 10 little 1 by 1 squares that each have the area of 1. So, now we can put all this together, and the expression 3x squared plus 4x plus 10 describes the combined area of this family of shapes for any value of x that we might pick. Any manipulations that we do to this expression can and should be thought of in the context of these shapes. Let's take a closer look at some of the algebra tiles. You will notice that the unit piece is red on one side and yellow on the other. The red side represents the opposite of the yellow side. Since the yellow side represents 1, the red side represents negative 1. The same is true for the other algebra tiles. Each has a red side that represents the negative of the other side. As we move on in our study of algebra, we'll sometimes find that more than one variable is used. But that doesn't matter. We can create tiles to represent different variables, such as y, y squared, or even xy. We'll be using the algebra tiles in future lessons to help us visualize what's going on with the problems that we're trying to solve.